Whoa. Shit. Hello. In this video, we're going to prep this 3D print with UV resin, baby powder, and a black light to cure it. Um, this is Enma, one of Zoro's sword from One Piece, one of the three. Now, the reason we're using baby powder is to make it thicker and fill any gaps much more easier. Um, and it gives it an extra layer to cover the layer lines. So first thing we need to do is uh, sand it down as always. Okay, reminder, in case you haven't forgot, make sure you got your gloves on. Now, once you pour the UV resin in, you're gonna add baby powder until you feel the consistency change. Um, you do want it thicker, like I said, it's gonna cover any layer lines and it's gonna fill, in, fill them up a lot easier. And next, as expected, we're gonna brush it on. Make sure to cover everything completely and even. Um, you'll be able to tell if you miss the spot because the print is going to look super shiny once you're applying it. So, you know, you can tell the difference from that. And after you're done with that, it's time to cure the resin. So this is UV resin. You would normally use a black light, but what's better than the UV sun, right? So I'm just letting this cure. And then I'm gonna, I gotta turn this one so I can actually do it now. This has been here for like 10 minutes already. So yeah, let everything cure and then we'll do some sanding later. So once that's cured, you're going to sand it down again. It is gonna feel a little gooey. So that's what you're gonna try to get rid of. And then also, um, you know, it should have already covered the layer lines and you'll be able to see that once you're done sanding. All right, now to test it before I paint it. Works. So for this print, I'm using acrylic paint. Um, it is my first time painting with this and I don't want to say I hated it, but it is different. Um, I think just for this print, the blades, the way they come out and they need to flow smoothly, I think it added a little thickness to it and it kind of, you know, made it a little difficult. It got stuck here and there. So I think I'm going to stick with spray paint from now on. So after a bunch of layers, waiting and drying, we got this. So now I need to do the middle and then we should be good. And here it is, all scruffed up. Um, this was after I used it, ran around outside with the dogs, you know, used it as a real toy. Um, not everything goes up on the wall perfect, you know, so I had fun. Um, I learned uh, quite a few things and uh, I hope you guys did too. I hope you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye. Ha, ha, ha.